the view is so gorgeous. Like, as the sun keeps setting, the colors just keep getting more vibrant. Like, the orange, the pinks, the red. I don't know how that works, but like, yes, this may be pretty crowded, but this is still a must visit for sure. Like, let's look at the material. Yeah. But it's a it's a quieter vibe. Definitely, yeah, definitely at night. Maybe not even 24 hours. But I'd low key feel like Florence might be a little bit more my vibe than Rome. It feels more hip, cheek, vibey. I feel like we go to my vibe until we walk up the hills. <laughs> 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 it won't be my vibe anymore. <laughs> day two of being in Florence and I'm super excited for today because we're gonna do a lot of cool stuff. We're gonna go to the flea market in Santo Spirito. We're gonna go to the Fizi gallery and the Academia gallery. It's a gorgeous day outside which I'm very 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 relieved because after two days of rain in Rome I'm super excited just to have the sun out all day. All right, let's do a little fit check. I don't know if this is too formal I wish I had jeans. Like, I regret not bringing jeans with me because I feel like it would break up the formality of this. I really lo love, love, love this tie. This is Vivian Westwood. How to bring it out. Let's continue the good vibes. Oh my god. I need to show y'all the view in this Airbnb. Like, it's crazy. Like, this is insane. There's the train station right there. We have this private terrace. And it's, the view is gorgeous. A little view of the the parking lot, <laughs> but like beyond that, it's like gorgeous, like homes. And then on this side, it's like more gorgeous home and a mountain in the back, or mountains in the back. And just like having a, this whole terrace for for ourselves, pretty cool. Even if there's a parking lot right next to us. It's just like that view, this view, especially when the sun's setting, it's gorgeous. But yeah, super, super excited. Ooh, I'm so close. Super excited for today. These are pins. Oh. <gasps> There's a penguin. I got a pistachio cannoli. What is this? I don't know what it's called <laughs> in English. It looks very yummy. I know. Alright, we're at the Fizi Gallery.
back after a long day in Florence. There was a lot of walking, there was a lot of shopping, there was a lot of sightseeing. I'm kind of pooped, but I'm so excited because I got to do a little haul for y'all. Let's see, this little, I kind of got a lot today compared to when I went shopping out in Rome, but they're all cute stuff, so I'm very, very happy. Let's see. So first we went to the flea market in Santo Spirito. It was very cute. I think it was very, compared to the flea market we went to in Rome, that one was very, I, it felt more local and homey. The first thing I got was this necklace that I think the guy painted himself. It was very cute. It was only, I believe, 22 euros. But I really like it. I, I've been trying to get into more necklaces, um, but I just couldn't find the right one. I only tend to go to like, I tend to buy necklaces from like thrift stores or like make them myself through finding charms at like flea markets. I like the color. I like the painting. I think it's like, it's like trees with like flowers on them and above in the skies are doves or some type of bird. Shout out to Giallano Bernie. Okay, and next we went shopping around Ponte Vecchio. I got this very cute like sweater, oversized sweater that says Firenze on it. It's very cute. So I think it's like perfectly like kind of like a little oversized but not but kind of more fitted on me, which I prefer. And then I also got this shirt for a friend. It's a cute ringer tee. I love ringer tees. I wish that this would better match my like proportions, but it's very cute. This is a tally on it with the flag under it. And then I we went to the Uffizi Gallery, and that was really, really, really cool. It was a lot of like very famous artwork there as well as like other like renaissance era painting and sculptures like this one painting oh Pri primavera that's like the most famous or one of the most famous painting i got a little postcard with a a close-up of portion of the painting i think it'd be very cute on like my wall or as a gift i'm not sure if i want to gift this to someone or keep it myself same with this this is the painting musical angel very cute oh yeah and i got this pin at the same gallery it's just Firenze on it and i like to collect pins to all the places i've traveled to and put them on my travel backpack so this will go on there lastly at the gallery i got the official guide it's very cool this one unlike the one in the gallery in rome this one they have an english translation so I can actually understand what is in here but it's like basically all of the artwork that the gallery has and like more details description of him of the paintings and other artworks oh and then lastly we went to this vintage store called Melrose I did find this they call it a vintage print but I think they just like copied like a artwork that they I don't know who, the, the store, they found like prints th and then like photocopied them but this was only 5 euros so I was like why not. Try to look up what this means but I didn't have any signal. But it says, it has the word Italia on it so it's something to do with Italy. But I think it would be cute to be hang up in my bathroom. Today was a vibe. Like it was a lot of walking, a lot of shopping, a lot of exploring things but I, I really do after spending two days here I think Florence I do like Florence a lot I think there's a lot of culture and art I don't know it's just a lot of cool things I can see why a lot of people I know spend a lot of time in Florence like when they when they go to Italy it seems like they all just go to Florence and I can see why can't wait for the next two days I feel like the next two days might be a little more slower oh no tomorrow we're going wait tomorrow's the last day no tomorrow's no Tomorrow we're going to a pasta making class and that's gonna be fun. So, yay! I really love Florence. Also, this Airbnb is a gag. That's my haul. I will see you tomorrow, I think, or tonight. We'll we'll see what the vibes are.
Good morning. Oh my god, 26%. I need to charge this. Last full day in Florence. It's currently 9.18. We're going to a pasta making class, which seems really... It's gonna... I feel like it's gonna be kind of fun, pretty cool. I'm just kind of scared about how I'm gonna make this pasta. Because I don't think I ever made pasta from scratch. But it's gonna, it's gonna be an experience. We're gonna see how this is gonna turn out. Making pasta at 9 a.m. is not what I thought I would do. But that seems... I feel like after we're done, it would be like lunchtime so I'm ready to eat some pasta that I made. Hopefully it tastes good. Yeah. But made if it's made by me, who knows? Who knows what it's gonna be what this pasta is gonna look like. It might taste too good. Oh period. <laughs> Welcome to my crib. I'm in my backyard right now, catching some sun. Yeah, to do maintenance in my house right now. Yeah. So I need to. Is that why there's no elevator? Or yeah, there's no lift? elevator. There's nothing. That's why I go. I went to sun, exploring, enjoying nature. Hey y'all. I don't think I can see. Okay. We are at the Baboli Garden. And there are a lot more hills than I thought there would be. Oh my god, I need to, I really do need to rest. Hey y'all! I'm at the Baboli Garden right now, taking a little break because while everything is kind of, it's gorgeous, the garden is gorgeous, a lot of cute sculptures and views. It just is very steep, a lot of st steep like stairs. So wasn't expecting that. I, I knew it was gonna be a lot of walking, you know, walking through like gorgeous sculptures and, and little mini gardens, but this was, this was a lot steeper than I expected. <laughs> I'm back from the pasta making class. Making pasta from scratch is eased, was easier than I thought. Like I thought it was a lot of process and technique involved, but no, anyone can do it. It's like so simple and fun. So I should probably saw from the clips like we made three different types of pasta. We had the fettuccine or the long spaghetti noodles in tomato sauce, and then the raviolis we put we had it in like ton of butters and sage and basil super delicious and then at the end we got uh, lemoncello shots and this really really good um dessert i don't know it was like a really it's like a it was like a hybrid of like a cookie and a um fudge with biscotti cookies in it it was so good oh my gosh we did get recipes for the things that we made so i'm excited to see if i can make this at home probably gonna try to make homemade pasta maybe. I really want to make the, the dessert that we had. It was called a salame al chocolate. I really need to make that. But yeah, very 10 out of 10 for the pasta making class. I, I also like how intimate it was. It was, I think the class can get pretty full, maybe like a group of 
a group of 12 maybe but it was a total group of four people so us being in the class of just four allowed us to have more ha hands-on time with the teacher you know and she she helped me with like figuring out when i should you know stop rolling it out and and all of that so that was really cool okay now it's the hall time because after the pasta making class we went to a bookstore and a grocery store because i needed water for at the grocery store but we found a bunch of other goodies at the grocery store you know gotta hit up the italian grocery store to get some italian food first off at the bookstore the bookstore was so cute i wanted like i wanted to see if they had a particular particular books that does that i love that i wanted that are in Italian because I want to add it to my collection. I found a uh, Giovanni's room translated into Italian, but I didn't really vibe with the cover. I thought to myself, do I really need this? And the answer was no. I already have three copies. I can find if I find a different cover that's interesting to me, I'll definitely buy it. But I found this magazine, Apartamento, with the queen herself on it. Hello, if I had to have it. And it was it's only 18 euros. That was pretty affordable so I had to get it happy with this at the grocery store bought a dip, lot of different snacks mostly chocolate I bought snacks for gifting to my friends and also for myself the total including the water I also got water was only 26 euros after tax first thing I got was were these wafers like they reminded me of Chex Mix um, so I wanted to try these out. Like there's one, just normal wafer and like a chocolate covered one. Chorizo wafers. It sounds really cool. And this one is also sounds really cool. This, like a pastry, like a fig flavored pastries. Come on. Apparently, um, at the pasta cooking class, the chef was like fig seasons in or like fig, this is like the best time to get figs or something. So obviously not fresh figs, but I love fig. I love fig jam. Oh my god. So hopefully this eats. And then I bought the rest are a bunch of chocolates. Some of them are for me and some of them I'm going to gift. Um, so if you're watching this, friends, you get to see me show chocolate. I don't, I, at this moment, I don't know what flavors to give to people, but if you got them, you see this. Shout out to y'all. The first couple of chocolates are like very small, but they were kind of expensive. Also, I don't know if these brands are pretty are popular in Italy. I could be buying like very shitty chocolate and I don't know. Like that's like someone coming to like America and going to the grocery store and like buying Nesquit or something or Nesto chocolate. Like why are you buying Nesto chocolate? So like who knows? This is I think just chocolate. This is dark chocolate, I think. And then this is milk chocolate. I got one of two of each. I just got this. This looks really fancy. I don't know if you're Italian. Let me know if this, this is fancy or not. But this is just, I believe, just milk chocolate, fifty percent dark chocolate. And this is for me. These two are for me. This is orange chocolate. If you know me, I love. I can fuck up a good orange chocolate. And I also got seventy percent dark chocolate. And I love dark chocolate too. I can fuck up a dark chocolate. So these two are for me. If not. I don't know. I actually don't know yet. This could be gifted. These are all from the same brand. Ritter Sports. This is like milk chocolate with like little nuts in them. Like almonds or or something. God. Duolingo has not been helping me with learning Italian. I don't I don't know. I know how to say I'm from Philadelphia. And like where's the where's the church? But I have not gone to a single church here. Or needed to find a church. This one sounds really cool. This is a white chocolate with lemon in it sounds really good wait i think this is Ger this is this is from germany and denmark anyway i mean foreign chocolate oh orange chocolate this one is just caramel with nuts i think or it's just caramel and this one is just milk creamy milk chocolate yeah so yeah a bunch of snacks Yay! I'm really excited to try this. And this. And also the, obviously the orange chocolates. It is our last full day in Florence. And it's so sad. Tomorrow we leave like in the morning or afternoon. We're going to um, Amalfi. I'm so sad. Florence was such a cool vibe, cool city. And I think I mentioned this in the 
previous clip, like a lot of people I know have visited Florence and highly praise it. And I can see why, because it's such a beautiful city. I am going to miss Florence. At least, and I, I, I got so many things from Florence too. So I'm very happy with my experience at Florence. We're going to leave Florence with positive vibes, high energy, with a bang. I'm excited to go on to the next city, but I'm going to be very sad to be leaving Florence.